Hi, it's Dr. Joe Markovich, the anti-aging doctor. I want to ask you about the Rebs and the Union. A Johnny Rebs and the Union. Now, I want you to take the time to talk to your grandparents if you can. Anybody, the old people, any old people that you can talk to and ask them a story that no one else knows. Grandpa, tell me a story that nobody else knows. And Grandma, tell me a story that nobody else knows. And they'll tell you the most amazing stories. I asked my um, grandfather, it was actually not my grandfather, my, my wife's grandfather, and he was in his 80s at the time, and this was some time back, uh, I would say 1985, 1990, um, I asked him, I said, Grandpa, tell me a story nobody else knows. He said he used to sit on the knee of his granddaddy. He used to sit on his granddaddy's knee when he was a little boy. He was two, three, four, five years old. I don't know how old he was. He was, he was very young. And uh, I think he told me he was like four. So he'd sit on his granddad's knee, and all his granddad's brothers were around. And he had a big family. It was the Leach family. And uh, <laughs> the Leach family. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they were leeching off each other. But anyway, so the Leach family, they'd sat around, and there were like eight brothers. And the funny thing is, they lived in Pennsylvania. But where they lived, some lived in Virginia, some lived in Maryland, and uh, I don't, I don't think. I think most of them lived in Pennsylvania, but some of them lived in Virginia and Maryland, and uh, uh, would would reminisce about the war. Now, this was my granddad, who was 80, sitting on his granddad's knee, and his granddad was reminiscing about the war. Guess war, which war they're reminiscing about? The Civil War. And his granddad's brothers had legs off, arms off, and some of them were, had died. There were like eight or nine brothers, but there were still six six or so, or seven, I, I'm not sure about all the details, and I'm not sure he was either, but I'm not even sure the, sure the tr story was true, but I kind of, I checked up on it, and some of it, I mean, it's at least possible, let's put it that way, there were leeches on both sides, there were, and they lived close to each other. Now, that area, Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania, was a very close, it was like a tri-state area, so you could be five miles apart and be in different states. And back then, if you were in Virginia, instead of uh, instead of Maryland or Pennsylvania, you were on the Army of the of Northern Virginia versus the Army of the Potomac or Meade's Army, Army of Pennsylvania. Uh, so the story he told me was that his granddad and his granddad's brothers fought against each other in the Civil War. Isn't that crazy? I'm getting me all choked up over it. They fought against each other. Americans for what they believed in. And nowadays, people, they just give up what they believe in. And they just let it go. And they aren't willing to fight. And they just say, oh, what am I going to get? These people weren't fighting for what they could get. They fought against their own brothers for what was their right, their state's rights. We're losing our state's rights. We're losing our health freedom rights. Stand up, guys. These men fought against their own brother for what they believed was right and killed their own brothers. And I'm not saying that that was right, but that's how strong their conviction was that what they were doing was the right thing. And if we can have that strong conviction, this place will stay around. This place will be here for our grandchildren. And we can sit our grandchildren on our knees and tell them how we fought the good fight. And we won all we lost, but we fought it as hard as we could for what we believed in. Believe in something and fight for it, guys. I'm not saying pull a gun out. I'm saying stand up and be counted. If you have to fight against your own family, that's how important a principle is. Against your own family. If they're wrong, they're wrong. But be willing to accept the fact that you could be wrong. It's Dr. Joe Markovich, the anti-aging doctor. And I told you a story that may not be true, but God, if it is, wouldn't it be glorious?